Hello friends, myself Dr. Varun Kalia. I am a physiotherapist. In this channel, Keshav Kalia Physio World, I will upload so many physiotherapy related videos and I will make those videos in an easy way. I will teach you the physiotherapy concepts. Today, we will learn how to draw a brachial plexus in an easy way. So, let's start. First of all, write down left on the left side of your paper and right on the right side of your paper and then draw two headless arrows to the left like this here you can see two arrows with and the headless as side of the arrow is toward the left side then add a headless arrow to the right here you can see a third arrow in between the two arrows and the headless side of the arrow is toward the right side. Then add a W toward left side. Here you can see a W toward the left side. Then add an X between the first and second arrow. Here you can see between the first and the second arrow here is a X make a Y like this you can see here here is one uh, line here is the second line and here is the third line and it makes Y then label C5 to T1 nerve root on the right side like this C15, C6, C7, C8, T1 then label the major branches first one is the musculocutaneous nerve and the nerve root for this nerve is C5, C6, C7. Second one is the median nerve and the nerve root for this C6, C7, C8 and T1. Then the ulnar nerve and the nerve root for this ulnar nerve is the C8, T1. Then the radial nerve and the nerve root for the radial nerve is C5, C6, C7, C8 and T1. Then the auxiliary nerve and the nerve root for this auxiliary nerve is the C5, C6 nerve root. Now we have to insert 4 trees. The first tree is the branches to C5, C6, C7 which form long thoracic nerve. Here you can see long thoracic nerve Originate, originate from C5, C6 and C7 nerve roots. Then next to a 3 on first arrow. First one is the dorsoscapular nerve. Dorsoscapular nerve. Here the nerve root for the dorsoscapular nerve is C5. Next is the suprascapular nerve and the nerve root for the suprascapular nerve is the C5, C6 and it supplies the supraspinatus muscle, infraspinatus muscle. Then lateral pectoral nerve and the nerve root for the lateral pectoral nerve is the C5, C6 and C7. Then next two on the second arrow. First one is the subscapular nerve. Here we have two subscapular nerve. First one is the lower subscapular nerve, and the second one is the upper subscapular nerve. And the lower subscapular nerve is, sub, uh, have, is having nerve root from C5, C6, and it supplies the subscapularis muscle and the teres major muscle. Upper subscapularis nerve is having nerve root from C5, C6. And it supplies the superior portion of subscapularis muscle. Then thoracodorsal nerve. It originates from posterior cord of C6, C7, and C8 nerve root. And it supplies the latissimus dorsi muscle. Then next to three on third arrow. First one is the medial pectoral nerve. It's having nerve root supply from C8 and T1 and it supplies the pectoralis major and pectoralis minor muscle. 
then next is the medial brachial cutaneous nerve and it's having nerve root from T1 and it supplies the skin of the medial brachial side of the arm and the third one is the medial antibrachial cutaneous nerve and it's having a root C8 T1 then Rajiv Tripathi drinks cold beer here you can see the capital alphabets R denotes roots T denotes trunk D division C chord and B denotes branches now uh, we can label R T D C T B. First one is the roots R. Here you can see roots like C5, C6, C7, C8, and T1. Next is the trunk. Here we have three trunks: upper trunk, middle trunk, and lower trunk. Then divisions. Here we have two divisions: anterior division and posterior division. Next chord. Here we have three chords lateral chord posterior chord and medial chord then terminal branches like muscle cutaneous nerve median nerve and ulnar nerve thank you